and I'm Steve Toth from SEO Notebook, where I email my best SEO tips every week. So if you want tips like this in your inbox, just head on over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. All right, so today's tip is going to show you how to create bookmarklets for Ahrefs and to a degree SEMrush, where it hmm, kind of works, but doesn't work on every dashboard. But in terms of Ahrefs, this works perfectly. So I'm an Ahrefs user and I find these bookmarklets to be a huge time saver. And let's just get into it and I'll show you what they do. So I'm on this page for NerdWallet right now. And let's say I want to see the top keywords that it ranks for. All I need to do is just click this bookmarklet and it's going to drop me directly into that screen with all the top keywords. This is going to speed up your workflow, allow you to do better research and basically do things faster, which is what I'm all about. So let's create a bookmarklet from scratch here. So now I'm on the organic keywords 2.0 screen, but let's say I wanted to find out which featured snippets this page ranks for. I'm gonna to go to featured snippet, where the target ranks and apply that filter. Now this filter is going to change the URL up here and to create the new bookmarklet to show featured snippets, I'm just gonna copy this, head on over to the bookmarklet generator, paste it into this field, and now the JavaScript needed to create the bookmarklet is generated. So now to create that actual bookmarklet, I just need to go to any page, in this case, google.com, and I'm going to drag that down to my bookmarks bar. Now I'm going to go to edit. I'll just call this FS for featured snippets. And in the URL field, I'm going to paste that JavaScript in there, super easy. And now the next time I'm on this page again, I can just create, I can just click my featured snippet bookmarklet. And now I'm going to see all the featured snippets that this page ranks for uh, once it loads. There we go. All right, so that's super cool. So what else can we do? Uh, we can create bookmarklets for the page overview to see the backlinks to that specific page, the traffic value, um, the organic traffic. Uh, we can do a cool one. We can do the same thing for the domain. Um, this one was actually inspired by a tweet from Dan Schur where he says, if you look at, um, uh, keywords page two and beyond. In this case, I've done position 20 and beyond. We can get some really good long tails um, when you search these large guides um, from sites like Nerd Wallet or The Balance or whomever. Um, and you know, you can see there's um, ones like um, uh, uh, safe stocks to invest in the short term where they're ranking position 20. And this might be a really good um, uh, blog as well as like how to get into stocks as a teenager, right? Um, these are good long tail um, uh, topics that um, these large guides are so ranking somewhere for, but um, can be highlighted um, through a bookmarklet like this. So thanks Dan for this. And as I mentioned, if you're gonna do this with your own site, um, you can do that with uh, Google Search Console and get even better results. So let's just show you some other ones quickly. Um, good backlinks, so in content backlinks, DR20 plus, domain traffic, 1K, et cetera. Um, top keywords, I think we showed that one. Um, top pages for the site, just drop into that. These are so easy to create. Um, it's really limited by your own imagination. If you come up with some and you think they're really useful, uh, please email them to me and um, maybe I'll put together a uh, best of um, list as well. So let's uh, just show a couple more referring domains. Um, that's a, a nice one. And then uh, I like this one, PPC keywords. Um, just drop in there and just check out all the ads really quickly that they're ranking for. And once you're kind of done this, what I suggest is creating a bookmarklets folder on your um, uh, bookmarks bar and putting them all in here, basically like, you know, just, oops, uh, just dragging, let's see, there we go, there we go. Uh, dragging that into the bookmarks folder and then also creating a link to the bookmarklet generator in there so that the next time you wanna create one, you don't have to go hunting for it, it's right there. So that's my suggestion. Um, I wanna give uh, some kudos um, to uh, two people. 
um, uh, actually three people. Uh, first is Glenn Alsop and his article about Chromebook marklets that are a lot more than just HREFs and SEMrush. Um, but, you know, Glenn sort of put this on my radar from the very beginning and, um, and detailed a bunch of good ones here. So I just want to give Glenn a shout out and a thanks for that. Um, Jack Vivian as well, who showed me some cool ones and uh, gave me the idea to create this sheet and um, uh, sort of, you know, he, he was doing this on in Evernote, um, pasting these parameters. And, um, you know, when he showed me how he was doing that in a Loom video, I thought, hey, why not um, do this um, as, a, as a concatenated um, spreadsheet that does it automatically? So thanks, Jack, for that. And then uh, Mike Friedman of Clicked Marketing, um, who helped me uh, with the with testing um, one of those things on SEM rush. So uh, thanks Mike for that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what bookmarklets you created. Um, and if you again are watching this, um, love it if you subscribed or hit the like button and more importantly signed up for SEO notebook. So I'm Steve Toth and that's um, my note for today and I hope you found it useful. All right, thanks.